Hosanna to the name of the Most High God, the Lord bless you, the face of the Lord shine upon you. This is your brother Bernard. I welcome you to another edition of our daily devotion. Let's see the book of Colossians chapter 4 and verse 3. Without praying also for us, that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds. I want to speak briefly on what I've captioned. O oh Lord, open a door of utterance. This was a prayer request of Apostle Paul that pray for us that a door of utterance be opened unto us to minister the mysteries of God. This means he understands that he is representing God and therefore he can only speak the mind of God in order to command results. If we don't understand the mystery of utterance, we can be praying and yet no answers. We can be preaching and yet no impact in the life of the people because a door of utterance has not been opened. Door represents access. There are things God has hidden that it can only take him alone to open the door and grant us access into the deep things. The Bible says, I open a door that no man can shut, and when I shut, no man can open. So there are things that only God can be able to grant them unto us, not our eloquent. I'm pretty sure you understand the case of Moses when God sent him to stand before Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh to let the people of Israel go. And God said to him in Exodus chapter 4 and verse 15, I will be with your mouth. In other words, the utterance that comes out of your mouth will not be your own words. It will be mysteries that will lead to deliverance. Understand the mystery of open doors of utterances. That when the utterance is open unto you, your words become words of authority, words of power. That when you speak, something happens. When you decree, it shall come to pass. Without this door being open, life becomes a struggle. If there is any prayer any of us need, to pray and cry to God is this prayer. A door of utterance be open. You remember the seven sons of Sceva? Jesus I know. Paul I know. Who are you? In other words, your utterance does not have authority. Your utterance does not have power. You are speaking your own word. We need God to open a door of utterance to us. This is what makes a difference between preachers. And Paul understood this secret and he cried to the Lord, I do not want to be an entertainer. Go for the open door of utterance and victory is yours. This is the word of the Lord for today. I remain your brother Bernard. I see you soon as the Lord leaves. Stay under the canopy of God's grace and his mercies. Shalom.